Hi guys, so I'm here on quavermusic.com and I'm trying to create a new student code. So we are going to click here on, on login. This is what your website will look like, quavermusic.com. You'll click on the green login. And I already have like someone else's account on there saved, but you're going to click right here. Need a Quaver account. Click here. You're going to fill this clipboard out. So you're going to create a name. Don't ever use your whole name. I mean, you think of like, you know, um, your mascot, your favorite number, your favorite color. I'm creating a fake account. So don't use this one. And what I'm doing is I'm making my Quaver name the same as my password, just so that it's easier for me. Um, you can use like your school ID. You know how uh, when you sign up for, for your AR or you know your username is a bunch of numbers, you can use that username and just use your username and that's it. Um, or your favorite color or your, your mascot or your favorite sport, whatever it is. Then you click agree to terms of use and you enter this really cool random code of letters and numbers. And this is a fake code right here. A Q eight G R oh, sorry, eight G R. And that's a fake code, but you make sure that you use your teacher's code. Theirs will be real and give you actual access to your classroom. You click enter and then it's going to tell you, great, you saved it, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm going to log in with that. Delete this over here. Nights Music 01. My password, Nights Music 01. And enter. And here's my fake account. And you'll have a little character here that's gray. You could click your character. You could change your avatar. You can change all of its features and stuff like that. You can ch uh, click your avatar again, change your music room, change the flooring, the walls, and all this, the poster, add a chair, not add a chair, all that good stuff. And then every room that you're going to see has this somewhere to Quaver Street somewhere it's going to be there so from this here you will get to see movable little items like this if you run this website through adobe flash if your parents have it blocked where a pop-up is blocked talk to your parents about if they can um, allow this website to run flash usually it comes out up here it says like pop-up blocked something like that um, or you can go into settings and then allow flash to run here okay if your parents do not uh, have adobe flash on their computers then your your website is not going to look like this you're going to have to go through student interactives here, the little yellow tab. You're going to enter your code, just the code. You don't have to create a, a username. Enter. And then from here, you'll have certain student interactive activities. It's not going to be everything that you would have with Flash, but it will be everything that your teacher would need you to access. The other stuff is just for fun, but fun's fun. So it just depends on what you're, you have available on your computer or your device. So here you still have some, some books, um, some eBooks with quizzes at the end. You have movement activities for you guys to do with body percussion. You can still create songs and submit them to your teachers. Um, there's, there's a ton of recorder stuff also for you to go over 
if you'd like to go over it. Now, sometimes you can't tell that there's more on the bottom because you don't see like a scrolly thingy right here. So you're just gonna have to click on the white and drag it up, okay? And then you'll be able to see more. All right, so you click and then you can go down and look up. You see how the, the scrolling kind of disappears? Yeah, it's imaginary, it is there though, okay? Exit. So I'm gonna go back to the way that it was with flash so that you can see some of the things that I have uh, that you can have available. Nights music go one, take count, da, 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 enter. Yeah, never, it's just not really. So you can go into the music store. You can go into this door over here, that's a studio. A bunch of different apps that you can create music with. Q Grooves is one of my favorites. You can uh, pick different genres. Um, you can go to this section here that says File, Apps, Help, Store, Contest, Student. This is a shortcut way to get to different places. So you go File. You can save the songs that you that you create. You can make an actual MP3 and save it onto your computer by downloading it. You can exit, you can enter contests once you already make a song. Um, here are the contest section I was talking about. So you title your song, cool song. So you can come up with better names than cool song. Oh, come on. Cool song with a good name, flavor. Okay, cool song one update yay you can go to any genre latin you can preview that specific instrument that you're highlighting so here's the keyboards then there's synth or brass then there's some drums that you can add or percussion additional percussions uh little glitter sections and your bass here Okay, you can change this type of instrument you would like to hear an electric bass, synth bass, an upright bass, or percussion. This is general percussion, drums, drum kit, or drum machine, synth or brass. So you have synthesizer or the organ or brass or pads. I'm gonna say brass. So I can preview this. That's C major one. C major two, C major three sound different. So that's the second one and third one. Okay, so then I'd have to make sure that I drag this into that purple section, right? Like that, da bow, da And I'm only gonna use the first eight little blocks just to kind of give you an idea of what you could do. I'm gonna change the style to R&B, I have no idea what this is gonna sound like because I'm just mixing up a bunch of different stuff, guys. So it's just random, but it'll be okay. They'll sound good, I'm sure. Electro, mm, let's add some percussion here. Oh, wow. Some of this random stuff, wherever. Drums, let's get some funky drums. Ooh, that's not good. No, let's have this come in later. And of course, there's like different ones that you could choose from. And then bass, Latin bass. Latin bass. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. I have no idea what this is going to sound like, but that's okay because it's just for fun. Okay, so now you have your tempos you and you have your player here. So if you click this little dot, dot, line, line, this is a repeat sign, it's gonna continuously repeat all eight bars over, over, over again. It's gonna sound like this. So it'll keep repeating 
And then if you delete something, if you if you want to delete it, you just throw it up and it's gone. Um, and so really it'll only play whatever you put here first, then second, then third and fourth like that. Okay. You can fill this up with a bunch of colors with every single block has something or not. Um, it's up to you. So I kind of like this where the drums come in here. And then I would save it. Save. Quaver has it. I'm going to go to contest. Let's say I go to Q grooves. I can enter the bronze needs two more players and then boom. I'll select cool song number one and then I would select it and enter the song. But it's as a fake account, so I'm not going to do that because there are other kids. Yes, I want to. I don't want to enter their own contest. There are other kids who are actually competing. Um, so I don't want to enter them with my random little sample thing. So there's like a cue backbeat with drums, cue dancer. There's a bunch of different stuff that you guys can do. If you go to this little tab that says apps, it'll take you to everything you can do. The Metro is like really great for eBooks on these specific types of music. Um, if you want to learn about jazz, ride the subway to jazz. And Quaver will read you some information. You can play puzzles while listening to some jazz. can try and match it. I don't know. Where this will go. Oh, there we go. And then it's a timer. You time yourself and figure out how long you would take to play that. Menu. Menu. Exit. Menu again. Always go back to menu. There's books. There's two ebooks. There's a, an audio player for you to select different music. There's matching card games. Every single one of these has three different puzzles, three levels of difficulty for each of the puzzles. Um, matching card games, three levels for that, two ebooks, two quizzes at the end, like three or four songs for you to listen to while you play that. And you can go back to Quaver Street here. And again, if you want a shortcut, to all these places instead of going through a bunch of doors click on apps here and it'll take you to each room so each rectangle or square is a room on claver street and you can enter that room yourself or you can just click um and go straight to the arcade or wherever you want to go there's astro notes that's kind of like um that shooting game uh, for outer space, there's uh, something that's kind of like old school Candy Crush, you know, where you match uh, games. There's like a whack-a-mole where you hit certain instruments and if you hit the wrong one that you get points off, you know, Tetris, but music version, trivia games and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's got a bunch of fun stuff. So explore it. And if you ever don't know what to do, there's always something, some way for you to get help. You see? Help. It'll be there. You and they'll explain it. To turn the guitar. Okay. So this is it, guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions about specific apps and what you can do, again, help is just a click away. And there's some step-by-step -step instructions on what you can do. But it you just let me know what it is that you'd like for me to cover if you have any questions or anything like that okay or ask your teacher um through google classroom uh and make sure you stay updated with what it is that they're asking you to do with quaver music online or if it's a different worksheet or if they just want you to explore and you just have fun okay all right bye guys stay safe